Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff, aka G Curse. Welcome to another Amazon delivery video. Today it is October the 26th, 2024. It is actually 7 30 a.m. And boy, am I excited to show you what came in today. Uh, this package actually came in pretty early this morning. It came in just before 6 a.m. Yeah, I actually had a, you know, I had this package scheduled to come in pretty early because I have some projects that I'm working on today. So I wanted to get this out of the way before I could work on my other projects. But anyway, as always, if you like what you are watching, which I hope that you are, I would greatly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. It's a little thing for you, but it means a lot to me. Anyway, on to the show. In this video, I have three items that I'm going to be showing off to you today. And uh, they, none of them are Transformers. I know it, it's rare that I do one of these type of videos and none of them are Transformer based. Uh, these are actually items that, uh, two items are items that I kind of needed. And the other item is just something that will help with productivity and working with my hobby, which is Transformers, as you can see behind me. So let's actually get to those products right now. Okay, so first up, ladies and gentlemen, to those who are not, uh, who do not know about that much about me, I have a bad case of what is called sleep apnea. I've had this ever since I was a young child. And I was diagnosed as having sleep apnea, apnea back in 2018, right after I graduated from college, actually. And it was a, an extremely bad case. Uh, they actually, the, the doctors who diagnosed me, were not even aware of a case as bad as mine. So they got me an emergency referral for a CPAP, which helps me sleep at night. And it, it does it does wonders. However, one of the problems is that you do have to constantly kind of maintain your equipment. You got to get new, uh, new, new component pieces, basically, I guess you could say. And uh, recently, I opened up one of the packages, and it comes with what is called a headset. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, it's a size medium. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but I have a, I have a little bit of a fat head here. I, I have a fat head. I'm not talking about ego, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, literally, my face is fucking fat. I mean, like, yeah. So um, the site, the medium size headgear, it's it's decent and does the job, but it's just a little tight. I will wake up in the morning and I'll have like lines embedded in my skin for a little bit because of how tight it is. So I decided that I was going to order a new headset. And this is something that came uh, from Amazon. I've ordered these things from Amazon before, so I know what I'm getting. So, but basically what I got here, ladies and gentlemen, I know you can't really see it that well because I don't want to take it out of the package yet, but it is the, this is a large size uh, headgear. Basically, you will plug your mask into the ports and basically you, it helps you breathe at night. Yeah, so the only thing is this looks a little bit smaller than a large. It does say large here and it is, it's a, it's a, Oh god, this is it's a Phillips. It just doesn't say it though. Hmm. But anyway, so I'm hoping that they, they I'm hoping that they did not remajor like what the qualifications for a large is because holy shit, like I said, my head is fucking huge. Yeah. You know? I'm just reading it just to see if it mentions Phillips because it said that it was a Phillips uh on Amazon. Well, it goes by the brand uh, Dream. Oh God, I can't read. I need. I need to get glasses. That's why I need to get. But it's Dream, something large frame. But, but yeah. So I cannot wait to try this tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that it isn't as tight. Like I said, it doesn't really bother me. It's just a little bit of annoyance, you know. So with that out of the way, up next we have something. This is something that helps is going to help me with my productivity. I have. And like I said, it helped me with the prod, my uh, Transformers in the background. What I have here is a two-pack utility knife. This is by a brand called Rex Betty. I th I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's R-E-X-B-E-T-I. -E -E I'm not sure if you can really see it here. Let's, yeah, R-E-X-B-E-T-I. Rex Betty, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now you're wondering to yourself, Jeff, in late june you bought a very nice utility knife 
oh my god is it broken did, did it break tell us is it broken that way we know not to buy it actually no it's not broken it's still here it's this is the craftsman utility knife it actually does a great job uh this blade is actually seen a lot of use now if you're wondering well jeff if you have this why did you buy this and the answer is quite simple where I, I work with uh, students who we are trying to help gain a little bit of independence. Now, the students I work with have severe disabilities, but we believe that they can also, you know, with with care and help, we believe that they can have a little bit of uh, independence. With that said, we, we take our students out to job sites every week and they and it helps you know we we help them gain a little bit of uh what's the best way of uh job experience basically and our goal is that they will ultimately be able to find a job after they are done with our program with that said one of the jobs that i take my students to it is a grocery store we help them we help uh, stock shelves stock the freezer we open boxes and everything and this is what I use. The, the problem is, is that there are times I will forget this at home. And I would rather have, I would rather leave this in the classroom. That way we can take it with us to the job site instead of me forgetting, wondering, oh God, did I remember to bring it? Or on the other hand, like I'll come home and I'll want to open up a box of one of my transformers behind me and I'll forget this at, at the classroom. And I'll be like, oh God, you know. So I figured I would just rather buy a whole new one, keep these at home, and leave this at the classroom. That way we can take it to the job site and everything. But yeah, the, this is still really nice. The blade is still very sharp. It's just a little dirty from all the work that it's been going through the last few months. But yeah, so with that said, and I will also link this in the description of uh in the description of this video. So now, like I said, this is called the Rex Bia. It's a two-pack utility knife, uh, and the, uh, they look pretty nice. It looks like one is a fixed blade where uh, it's basically straight, kind of like this one. However, the other one is what caught my eye. It looks like it's a folding blade, which is nice. I, I, want, I, I do not have a folding blade, so I would like to see what it's like, and that's why I ordered this. And I got this for a pretty good deal. It comes with comes with oh, i think it comes with like a total of 18 blades i may be wrong uh but like i said i will uh link all this information in the description so let's open this up okay here we have the first one this is the fixed blade or i'm not sure if fixed blade is the right name for it but it is definitely uh it's not a foldable it's not foldable Okay, it feels a little bit light. I'll be honest. It feels a little bit light. It doesn't have the heft that this one does. So I'm guessing that this is probably made of plastic mainly. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if this is plastic. If it is, I'm really wondering what the uh, life expectancy of this will be. I'm hoping that this will last a while, you know. But, you know, then again, you also get what you pay for. Like I said, this was actually a pretty good deal. This was also a good deal when I bought it. I think this was like $9.99 when I bought, bought it. I cannot recall. But this is all steel, and it has some heft to it. This one, I think this was $12.99. I may not be, I may not I be correct, but it just has a real light feel to it. So I'm hoping that this lasts a while. So basically, you get, you have your... Standard blade. This one is black. I'm going to remove it. There you go. It's your standard uh, box opening blade or package opening blade. The way now, I'm hoping that, that I don't mess this up because I've always had trouble loading the blade into this. So I'm, let's see here. Okay, push the button down. And you're supposed to be able to just kind of. Okay. See, there I go. I already messed it up because, as you see, it's not all the way in. So, you got it. It's kind of a working out process, you know. There. Wait, is that it? Okay, hold on. Okay, that there it goes. It's all the way in, and I ran my finger across. So, you see, 
I, I was being incredibly stupid right then because I shouldn't have done that in case it wasn't already in, but I did it and it's safe. It's safe. Now, I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe this is just molded. Now, this, uh, this has, like, whereas this one has the compartment on the bottom, uh, uh, bottom of the blade or the knife, this holds a couple extra blades. This one seems to have the compartment on the top. And there it is. This comes with a couple. Oh, this one actually comes with. Oh, careful. Those are real sharp. Thankfully, I'm not bleeding. Ooh, that. Anyway, this comes with a total of three blades. And I'm actually curious. I'm wondering if these can be interchanged. Uh oh. Seems to be some kind of. I'm wondering if this is oil or grease or something. Something is all over these. Hold on. I will be right back. I'm going to get or pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got a towel. And a little sanitizing wipe because I don't know why, but they put some sort. I'm not sure if it's oil or grease, but they put something on these blades. And I'm just not a fan of that. I don't like that at all. No, siree. I do not. So I'm going to carefully. And before you ask, this is actually a very old towel, so I'm not worried about it getting kind of cut up and stuff. I'm just doing, why would they do that? I do not, I'm not sure what the logic is or the what the reasoning is. But I'm just not a fan of that. So I'm going to clean these blades off. And then I will uh, test them because I want, I'm, when I say test them, I mean, I, uh, I want to uh, see if they will work in the Craftsman also. Because it looks like that they could be universal. I'm not sure if these blades are meant to be kind of universal. But it never hurts to... Uh, never it never hurts to check, you know? Okay, that one's been wiped. Yeah, it's weird that they would... Put some kind of, like I said, I'm not sure if, if it was part of like some sort of safety, like, or, or a grease or like it was meant to help the, the knife itself, but the craftsman did not do that. And that's like, really, that's a weird choice, but I'm not sure if it was meant to be there or if not. So I'm actually going to wipe these blades clean and then I'm going to give them a once over with the little uh, cleaning wipe. Because I don't know what that stuff is. And I'd rather be safe. My mom, before she passed away, she always had a saying. It's better to be safe than sorry. There's one. There's two. Yeah, I don't recall. Uh, I don't recall the uh, the the, av uh, the product listing on Amazon mentioning that these blades were going to be coated with anything. So if this was if this was planned, you know, on Rexbiet or however you pronounce their their brand, you know. I wish that they would have mentioned it that way. At least when I opened this up and I saw this, oh, 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 this is normal for this blade. You know, I would understand that. But I don't recall seeing anything like that. And if it was not meant to be on the whatever this coating is, if it was not meant to be on this these blades, then maybe they should go back and make sure that their product, you know, is okay. Because I'm wondering if it was tampered with. Okay, we're drying them off now. I just don't want them to rust or anything, you know. They say that these are supposed to be five times stronger blades. It even says it... I think it said it on the box. I may be wrong, though. 
Maybe maybe I might maybe I am wrong. Oh wait wait hold on. God I must be getting fucking blind. Oh yeah I said okay here is I'm not, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. It says five times yeah you probably won't be able to see it five times. Uh. Sharper and durable. So that you know. Okay, so we got these blades taken care of. Off the there you go. Now for this it's gonna be hard to really wipe in there, so I'll just have to be careful. But so that is how you you know you can load the blade and everything. So we have the uh, compartment that I, we have the compartment here that I told that I mentioned. Now I'll, I'm just curious. Like I said, I want to do a test because I'm curious if these blades will work in the Craftsman. Oh boy, that blade! You can, I'm not sure you can see it on the camera, but this blade is a little bit dirty. I'm not sure how the dirt. Well, it could be because I'm constantly retracting in it and everything. Okay, they appear they appear to be the same size and everything. So these may actually be a good fit. So let's do let's do a quick test. Okay, it's loaded. Hopefully. Nope. <laughs> like I said, I've had this since June. And I've still never really Maybe these are not meant to or does it go the other way, possibly? Yeah, these may not be usable with Craftsman, which is weird because they look literally look the same size and everything. Okay, let's just try it one more time. One more time. It feels like it's literally all the way up. Yeah, it's just not working. So apparently. There is something different about these blades that just do not work with the uh, Craftsman blade or the, the Craftsman utility knife. And there it goes. Yeah, there must be something different about those blades. But eh, so maybe it's Craftsman's way of making sure that you have to buy their blades. I that that's all I can figure out. Know? Okay, so let's put these guys back in. And of course, no. Come on. Okay, there's that one, and then the final. Well, it is definitely, there it goes. There it goes, okay, and we got, we got three in the, three in the compartment, one, in the chamber if that's what you want to call it whatever you whatever you want to call it so yeah the only like i said the only downside is that this feels incredibly light i mean it is it is very light the one thing i did not mention looks like we have like a rope cutter or some sort of a uh, fixed blade on the inside right here oh it's oh oh wow it's actually the same blade i thought this was like uh I know you can't really see it. Well, you can't even see it. There it goes. I'll use it. I thought that this was a, like a little fixed blade, but it's actually part of the uh, blade itself. Well, that, that, that is, that's unique. Okay. So I'm guessing that this can help you cut. Uh, there it goes. I'll help you cut uh, ropes or something. Yeah. Up next in this box, we have the, this. Okay. Now this one has a little bit more heft, but it's not that heavy. This is the one that I was really curious about. This is the fixed, or not fixed blade. This is a rotating blade. 
I'm guessing boom boom. Okay. Now this one it's a little bit different because it does not have the uh the 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 blade does not retract at all. So you have to be a little bit more careful, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that this was going to retract. I thought there would be like some sort of switch or something, but that's not the case. So it 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 feels a little bit heavier. I want to say I want to say it's like a drastic heaviness, but it definitely feels a little bit more heavy compared to the uh, straight utility knife. You have a little protector here. Basically, this slides off, and then you can just. Like I said, this one you're going to have to be really careful of. If you have little children, you may not want something like this because of the fact that it is the blade is always out. There is no, there is no uh, retracting this blade. This blade is permanently stuck out. And when you're done... You can put it away. However, I'm I'm going to try and keep trying not lose this, but I wish that they gave you like a little bit more of a solid or a better guard. I'm not even sure how the how does it go on exactly. One like this. No, that can't be it. This. I'm trying so hard not to cut myself. Okay, there it goes. Or somewhat. There you go. So basically it goes on, and then you can just close it up. And boom, there you go. Now does this, I can't recall, does this one have... Okay, this one doesn't... This one looks like it has a compartment, but I cannot seem to open it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And you have the same set of blades over here. It's actually a little bit more compact in the, in the, uh... Okay, this one doesn't seem to have the... Actually, it does. This one also has the, uh, the, oh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, coating or whatever is on it. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is actually part of it. So I'm actually going to stop recording real quickly. I'm going to clean these blades up, get them dried off, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have cleaned these blades. I'm not sure, if, like I said, I'm not... I'm not saying the blades are bad or anything. I'm just not sure if what the coating is is actually meant to be there. But I just would rather be safe than sorry. So I got these blades cleaned, dried. And I'm carefully handling them because these things are not meant to be played with. These are these are razor blades, ladies and gentlemen. And they should easily just go into the storage. There you go. There you go. And boom. There you go. And to uh to extend the blade, you gotta press there's a button here. So it isn't just something that easily flips open. There is a mechanism here to lock it into place and everything. But yeah, so this this I feel Whereas, whereas both of these are dangerous, I feel that this is slightly more dangerous because of the fact that the blade is constantly out. You have to be more careful. And this one, you can actually retract it. So if you're working quickly and you, you know, you're opening box, opening box, opening box or whatever, then you can quickly close the blade and you're done. You don't have to worry about it. This one takes a little bit more care and consideration. You could be working, 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 working. If you're not careful enough, you may put it down really quick to, to tend to something. Like, say, like, if I had this with me and I was working with a student and, you know, if something happened, I have to put it down real quickly. I may not realize that if I'm going to grab it, I may grab the blade. So this is why I am not taking this with me to the job site at all. This will stay 
here exclusively where I can open the boxes behind me. I feel more comfortable having this having this with me when I take my students to the uh, job sites than I do this. This, I'd rather take this with me to the job site, you know, because like I said, it's a little bit, it's more, as for as dangerous as it is, it's a little bit more safe than something like this. You know, this, this is, I think this would be good if you're working by yourself and you can have, and you're, you're real careful, but this is not something you want to just quickly work with around people, you know. Okay, let's put this away. Oh, and by the way, this can actually lock at specific angles. So I think there's like, so there's the first angle straight. There's that one. That one. Okay, so it's like three, three angles, and then it clicks into place also when you, uh, when you, you know, pull it totally now. But yeah, so that's the Rex. I'm not sure. Or it's it's pronounced the Rex Betty or Rex Betty. Or I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. I do want to say thank you. You know, I don't. Know, why am I saying thank you? I bought it, but I do want to say though that you know, it is it, visually it's nice. They, they just seem to lack the heft. You know. And like always, every with every with every one of these videos that I do, I will uh not only will I post the link, but I'll also post the information like how much it cost me, and I will also post like who who sold these and everything. That way, you can try to get the same you know same price that I did when I paid for these guys. Okay, lastly, we have in this box we have some blades. Now, do I ever plan on going through all these blades? No. I've had this since June, and I've opened numerous, you know, packages, Transformers packages, and I've opened hundreds of boxes at the job site with this already. And uh, the class is our only, has only been in session for this year since, like, August 29th, I think it was. So this blade is actually still very sharp, so I do not ever plan on really burning through blades but it is nice to know that i have let's see here how do you open it hmm. you would think that you should be able see this tells you i am not uh i am not uh God, what's it? I'm not tool inclined. I guess you could say I don't know that much about tools. I, 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 I'm more of a teacher at heart, not a, not somebody that works with tools. I'm going to, have to figure out how to open this thing up. I'm not going to fight with it right now because I don't want to risk fighting with it. You know, and then all of a sudden it, it pops open, all the blades fly out. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to respect this, and I'm going to put it right here for the time being. Put this here. And finally, I will put this here also. So, but like I said, this is the Rex Betty Two Pack Utility Knife. Yeah, so it's nice, you know, for what it is. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, get all this up also. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is what one of the big things is that I wanted to show off. Now, you may not realize it. But, you know, I, I have facial hair. And one of the things, I know, I don't, it's weird. It's weird. I, I have this weird stuff, this weird growth all over my face. Well, it's not so bad here because I shave, but yeah, you can see it. You know, anyway, anyway. Uh, one thing that I'm starting to really realize that I have, I know I had it before, but it's just not as annoying as it has been. It, I feel kind of embarrassed to actually say this. I have a ba I have ear hair. Ear hair, yeah, I know. I have ear hair. And it gets to the point that I can actually put my finger right here and I can feel it. So it, it it's it's growing. It's growing, you know. And why why is it that I have hair that comes out of my ears? It must be some cruel joke. If you believe in God, then it must be some cruel joke. That your God did to did to the human race to have 
hair come out of our ears. Why have ear come out of our ears? I don't know. Also, I don't know why we really have ear, you know, hair in our noses, but I guess that kind of makes a little bit more sense. It helps prevent, uh, prevent stuff, you know, bad stuff from getting into your nasal cavities, possibly. Maybe that's the same reason it is with the, you know, the, uh, ear hair. But it just seems like the nasal hair really doesn't grow that long, whereas the ear hair, it's actually starting to, you know, crop out, I guess you could say, or pop out, or whatever you want to call it, you know. But, yeah, so I will, you know, and it, the, the issue is that, you know, the, the hair will get, like, you know, irritated a little bit, and I can feel it. I can feel it, and it just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. It makes me constantly feel like something is in my ear crawling around, and when in reality, it's like the, the little hairs, you know, it's just, ah, it's maddening. So, this is, you know, this this was all ordered uh, late last night. I actually ordered these things before I went to bed. So, what I got here, ladies and gentlemen, it, this is the Philips Noralco Precision Trimming Kit. And basically, it, uh, yeah, so on the front, you have Philips Noralco Nose Trimmer 500, but it also does ear hair. It comes with its nose, ears, brows, and it also has a detailer tool. I don't ever really plan on using the detailer tool because normally every Sunday or Saturday night, depending on how I feel, I basically shave, shave, you know, all this part off, and I'll just keep this, you know. And if you're if you're not aware, like a couple weeks ago, I actually trimmed all of this off, you know, trimmed this. This actually used to be a little bit longer, but I just decided. To trim it, yeah. But yeah, so on the front we have a picture of the trimmer here. You have a little uh, one of the pieces here. As you can see, you have the detailer tool here, ear, trim, ear hair trimmer here, eyebrow, and nose. On the back, it looks like this is possibly fully washable, so it's easy to clean. So that's nice to know. Ultimate co uh, con comfort, no pulling guarantee. That's good. There's one thing I, there's one thing I'm gonna hate is if I get use something like in my nose or my ears and it, I, it pulls. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. You know. Uh, with protective guard system and steel dual sided blades, fully washable, easy to clean, precision, a premium precision trimming uh, kit includes. Liner, rotary, and detailed trimmers for versatile precision grooming. And it looks like it, this it looks like it needs a battery, but it looks like it actually comes with a battery. And then it has a 45-day risk-free trial, two-year warranty. But yeah, so let's get to the shall we? So let's open this thing up. You know, I was honestly hoping that this would have been taped shut. That way, I could have used the new you know, box opener tools that I have. But sadly, it was not. Ooh, wow. These boxes, they don't make these bo make boxes like they used to. They they tear it so easy. I'm trying. <laughs> they tear so easily. Okay. Okay, so here we have the precision trimmer. And it looks like it already has one of the blades. One of the blades uh you know in already in it. Okay, so we got a instruction here. So it's right here. It shows us how to open it up. So I'm guess we turn and pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay, so let's look at this alone. This it feels like it's all plastic. The insides may have some metal to it, but the body itself feels plastic. 
the battery's right here, so this will not work yet. The this is where you put in the bat battery. Oh, there you go. Wow, that was tight. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I said it, but I said it. I said it. But seriously, um, okay. Let's get the back. Let's get the battery out. Okay. So what would it be? This is a Phillips. This is a Phillips. So of course, we got Phillips brand battery. Okay. God, my I, I am so fucking blind. Well, at least I know this is made in China because it literally says it right here. I'm just trying to see what the alignment is. Okay, well, we'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll wing it, ladies and gentlemen. We will put positive side down. And if it doesn't work, then we'll know that it's the other way, and I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, like... Okay. Hey, I'm an idiot! <laughs> okay, let's... let's Okay, maybe it's negative side down, positive side up. Okay, there we go. So it, it does work. It was actually a little bit quieter, you know, quieter than I thought it would be. I have, oh God, I think it's called the Phillips One Blade. And that thing is loud. That thing is loud. I think One Blade is from Phillips, but anyway. So there's that. So what else do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? What else do we have? We have your typical travel bag. It is but it, it has a button instead of being drawstring, which is unique. Normally, a lot of these bags that I get from for different uh care, you know, health, you know, care products is normally like a drawstring. But that's not the case with this. That is not the case with this. This is actually a button. We have the accessory that was already on top this from what i understand this can be used they you, you get both this and this these can both go in your ears and nose so it's based like what what would you prefer oh hold on so, so basically you get this i know it's not the best picture and you get this this is what I'll be using most of the time. Okay, now let's see here. Okay, so with this attachment, it actually is a little bit louder. It is a little bit louder. It look it actually looks like a weird like a writing pen or or a soldering tool or something. Yeah, but but this is actually something you can stick in your nose or in your ear, and it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to do the job, you know. And then when you're not using these. The other the other tools or accessories you can just plop them in your little canvas bag it feels ca like canvas you know feels like canvas bag there there's one here is the detailer tool which i'm never going to use because that means i would normally grow a beard i don't grow beards i just i just grow whatever the fuck this is called i've always called this the uh chin duster i'm not sure what this is actually called but i call it the chin duster i never grow a beard because to have a beard and a mustache, it kind of interferes with my CPAP machine. So I'm going to plop the detailer in here also. Okay, you little shit, get in there. Get in there. Okay. Okay, the detailer's in there. You then have, holy shit, I got more little accessories. You got whatever the fuck this thing is. I'm guessing. Oh, it could be like a little guard, like a cover. You got your, you got your typical brush. You got your typical brush. It's a brush, fucking smaller. My pinky is bigger than this motherfucker. Seriously, does anybody ever really use these things? You know, seriously, you know, like, does anybody ever use these things? And then we got some. Uh, we have. Oh God, some. I'm not sure what these things are called, but they may, it's like a little measuring thing to make your beard longer or shorter, you know. And that is it. That is all that came in the box, ladies and gentlemen. That is all that came 
in the box. Like I said, mainly I'm going to be, because I already have other uh, things I can use. I use the one blade. I have razors. I have a haircutting kit for what's left of my hair. I mainly got this for the nose, ear nose uh, remover, hair remover tool. But yeah, overall, it, it feels nice. It has a little bit of heft to it. I'm not going to say it's like heavy, heavy. But you can definitely tell that there's something there, yeah. You know? So I'm going to put these guys in their little bag, which I will never see again. And in one year, I'll probably lose this bag because I have a dedicated little uh, location in the bathroom that I keep all my little grooming tools place. Let's see here. Let's actually... Does this fit in with everything? Hold on. Let's just... Oh, it does fit. It does fit. And then you can just, boom, there. And you're good to go. You're good to go. But yeah, like I was saying, I have a little dedicated, like, little set of, uh, little set of drawers in the bathroom that I keep all my stuff in, you know. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck you. <laughs> Something fell off. Anyway, uh. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Overall, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm just getting everything cleaned up now. Uh, I wanted to do something for all of you guys before I start my projects today. I have, oh, I have a review of Season 1, Episode 10 of uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Uh, and then also I have, uh, I've been working on a Transformers review and th that that review is going to be it's been a little bit difficult getting it ready because it, it it pulls so many feelings you know it's like one one minute i'm trying to be positive and then the next i'm negative it's not going to be a good review not it's, when i say that it means i don't mean like it's the video is going to be bad it's just my review of the product it's not going to be a positive one but that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have watched. Or, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to get this uh, ready to upload. And as always, if you liked what you watched, feel free to click that subscribe button, click the like and the bell. And I will see you next time. My name is Jeff, aka G Curse, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.